I was trying to figure out what was happening and it's... Prisoners. It's a... Uh, Automa is an ethnic group. Of which country? Of Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah. And the flag you're wearing is Oromo? Yeah, it's the Oromo flag. And I was trying to think of Eritrea, Ethiopia, but I saw Oromo. Oromo. Yeah. And Sophie, the pr pr for prisoners. Yeah. So now this has to be intersectional. We need to understand it's not just black people, but also what we do to each other. I love your um, mask. Silence is betrayal. It's a whole thing. Thank you. Oh, I need this one. Yeah, I'm She's writing. I'm writing in a Oh, okay. But you have the best sign. I want to get your sign. <laughs> Aroma lives. I know, but I don't mind. I like the idea. Where are you going with it? Thank you. I know you need some sun, right? It's really hot. I like your t-shirts. Oh, thank you. Both of them. Thank you. I know, it's so hot. If you're very curious on why we're protesting today. Yeah, what time? When is it going to? From where? So, we're starting here. We're at a rally here. We said 12, but we're still waiting on it. You know how we go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so then we're gonna go down over to Young towards Union, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna go back up towards University, and then we're gonna come back on Dundas and meet back over here as well. Perfect. And so, what's, tell me what it's about. What's this about? So we are the Oromo people on uh, June 29th, I believe. Hachalu Hundesa is uh, one of our most prominent singers. Um, he is also an activist, right? He is a, the activist for the Oromo people who have been marginalized by the Ethiopian government for uh, decades and decades. And he enlightened he, uh, his last words that he knew his life was threatening because of his voice. Oromo singers are known to be uh, empowering people to instill a sort of liberation with, for the Oromo people. And because of that, they are persecuted time and time again. So his death will not be in vain. After his death, instead, the Ethiopian government, instead of going after his killer, they went after all our prominent leaders and shut down all our Oromo media and um, and rounded up all our Oromo leaders because they knew that his death was going to instill a lot of violence and uprising because it is going to open the eyes and wake up the eyes of the Oromo people. So because of that, um, the Ethiopian government has created a dark zone, right. meaning they shut down the internet, they shut down the uh, phone system, so we have no communication to Ethiopia. So in that way, they can fit their own narrative. The Ethiopian government is going to fit one narrative. Like These are tactics that have been used in very oppressive uh, uh, regimes, regimes right? So what they're doing is shut down the internet, shut down the, um, 
and the phone systems and only put their propaganda. So right there, they are saying only 81 people have died, but we hear our family members and they're saying much more uh, violence uh, is happening in the capital of Tukfine and all of cities across Oromia. So it, like I said back what I, what I was saying, is instead of going back to kill, uh, arresting their, the, his killer, they're going to arrest our leaders and, uh, and um, all the media networks um, just to suppress our people. So we are going to be their voices because their voices are not being heard. So we're amplifying their voices. We're not only uh, protesting here in Toronto, all across cities, across all of uh, uh, America, including Minnesota. They shut down the whole highway. Um, all Colorado, uh, Denver, in Denver, they uh, protesting in Edmonton, in Calgary yesterday, right? We are going to continue to amplify their voices because they're not being heard. Because time and time again, this is not only the first time that they shut down the internet, um, they've done this time and time again just to suppress and to uh, shut down the Oromo people. Uh, but no more, we're done. We're, we're absolutely done. Our parents have protested um, in Toronto in 1991 and we're protesting the same sort of injustice now. It's